So hi, uh, we'll do absolute value functions. Uh, it's a very simple topic. I'm sure most of you guys are already aware of a few things. We've discussed this in the past. So an absolute value function looks like this. Y is equal to absolute value function of x. Okay, so uh, I've discussed this a couple of times. So imagine if we are talking about temperature in where we live. So sometimes you approach temperatures like zero degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes you might approach a temperature like 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And you'll hear people saying, hey, what's the temperature? 20 degrees Fahrenheit. But some other people might tell you 20 uh, zero. And similarly, you might approach a temperature at negative 20. And people might read it this way, 20 below zero. So, absolute value function is just referring to how far you are from zero. Are you above zero or are you below zero? All right? So it does not take the positive or negative sign into consideration. It makes everything into a positive, right? So whenever I solve something like, let's say if x were five, this will treat it as a positive. How far is positive five from zero? It's five away from zero, right? And how far is negative five away from zero? It's still five units away from zero. So that's the idea of, uh, uh, of the absolute value function. So it's just taking the distance from zero. It does not take the positive or negative aspect into consideration. So how far is negative five from zero? Five units. How far is positive five from zero? Five units. And that's how uh, absolute value function comes into uh, play. Okay, so let's do some graphs. Let's just draw a simple graph. So if I were to take the graph of uh, y is equal to x. Now let's put in values for x and y. So let's start with negative, a few negative values, and then let's take some positive values. So if I were to put in negative 2, what does that mean? How far is negative 2 from 0? It's 2 units away. And how far is positive 2 from 0? Even that's 2 units away. Similarly, negative 1 is 1 unit and 1 unit, and 0 units is 0 units away. Now, if we were to plot this graph, remember x is always called the domain of a graph. So the set of values that the graph can take for this graph, can you put any value for x, right? So the domain would be from negative infinity to positive infinity. You can plug in any value. Let's check out the values for y, okay? So let's plot this graph. So when it's negative 2, it's 2. When it's negative 1, it's 1. When it's 0, it's 0. When it's 1, it's 1. When it's 2, it's 2. So if we plot this, we actually get a V-shaped graph. Right? So the domain for uh, the x-axis is from negative infinity to in positive infinity. But look at the range. It starts from 0 and it keeps going up till infinity. Right? Right? It can go till infinity. So the range is from zero. It is part of zero, but it can reach or go to a very large value of infinity. And how would we do this on the calculator? So for the calculator, we'll use uh, our calculator and we'll go to that same y function. And uh, if you look at the math, function that is a burden with math. And then on top, you'll see, when you click the math button, you'll see N-U-M at the top. So click 
select that and you'll come to one which says ABS with the parenthesis. So that's how you'll enter this into your calculator. So Y is equal to, right? Then you press math, then you press num and um, and then you press one. And then you'll get this. So your calculator will show this. And then you can graph it, you can get the table, you can put in any function as needed. And this graph can even cut uh, numerous other uh, graphs like a quadratic graph or a linear graph or an exponential graph. So uh, you can work anywhere with it. All right. And that's how this topic is done. All right. Thank you. Good luck with this.